Hello friends, very good afternoon. Welcome to Engineering Basic. Today we will learn to find the sum of odd and even digit from a number. And if you haven't subscribed to Engineering Basic, then please go and subscribe to watch my further video. And now let's come to solve to find the sum of odd and even digit from a number. First, I'll write the question. Okay. Write a program. Write a program program to find the sum the sum of odd and odd and even even digit from number in flowchart. This is our question. Right. Now how to find we should know here. We know that how to find a remainder number. I'll take one example, one five. What is the question telling? To program to find the sum of odd and even digit. First, we'll find even digit, then we'll find odd digit. Now, now see for even digit. Even digit. For even, what we'll take? One five six seven. Is there one five six seven? Now, what what the question is telling? The sum of even digit means what is the even number in this? One is odd, five is odd, now six is even. So the output should out, output should become six. Again, I'll take example one, seven, one, six, and two. Now in this, what were the even number? One is odd, six is even, and two is even. So six plus two will be six plus two will be ten. Our output should become ten. Right. Now we have to find remainder. For remainder, we know that we'll take now any number. We'll take any number. Mm, anything we can take. We'll take one five three. Okay. Sorry, one five three. What will be the remainder of one five three? One five three more ten, right? 153 more 10, what it will be? 3. Now 153 divided by 10, we have to do, right? In previous, in previous video also, I have told about this. 153, now it will come 15. In this, one, in this way only, we have to calculate, right? If you haven't seen my previous video, then please go and, go and see my previous video, then you will know about this. Now, how to find of a one number? Right now, this is remainder. For remainder, we have to calculate. This is three. In this way only, we will get again again remainder. Right in this, which is our even number that they will choose and to and they will sum. Right, how they will do? Now we have to take this is on, which is in odd number and even number. Right for even number, we have to do true side if if norm means sorry if remainder mode 2 is equal to 0 and true side it will be even so it will print it will print sum equal to sum equal to sum plus remainder right right we have to do sum so we have to we have to do sum equal to sum plus remainder now this thing we'll do in Flow chart. Now let's see what is going. Go and declare. Now what what we have to number. So write number. Now what we have to remainder. So R E M. Sum. Sum. Now we have what we have to do initialize. So I'll take value of I. Initialize. Now ask the computer to give output value. For number, enter any number which you want, which you want, right? Now what you will do, go on input and write norm. Norm means number, understood? In every video I have spoke about sum, 
to assign sum equal to zero, sum equal to zero, and i equal to one. Under understood up to this much. Okay. Now what we have to do? Go on loop. I'll use while loop. In while loop, what I'll use? Num is not equal to zero. Is not equal to zero. Then what will come? True. Go on assign, and there is remainder. We have to remainder, right? We have to remainder equals to. This is number one fifty three. Is our number more ten. Done. Now what we have done? Number equals to number divided by ten. Same thing here. We'll do. Go on assign. Number equal to number divided by ten. Okay, understood up to here. Now what we'll do? We have to take a decision, right? Decision box is E point. This one is to take a decision box. All right. What we have to write? Remainder. Remainder mode two. Remainder mode two. Is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. Then true side what it will be? We have to find sum. So sum equals to sum plus remainder, right? We have to assign sum equal to sum plus sum equal to sum plus remainder. For example, we will check one five three more ten. Here we will check one five three more ten. It will become three, right? Norm norm equals to norm divided by ten. It will come fifteen. This remainder is our three. Three more two equal to zero. Three more two equal to zero. It will be any day. Not then. This number will this number won't take right. So it is even number. We have to we have we have we have to take even number, right? So that it won't take three. Now what we have to do? This is a while loop. So we have. To increment, increment i equal to i plus one, i plus one. Okay, understood up to this much. In this way, program will run, and in the here output should be come. What will ask here output? The sum of the sum of e one. E one digit, the IGITS digits from the integer, from the integer, JGERS integers is inverted close. What will do inverted close and sum, right? We have to print sum. Now we'll run this program. Okay, enter any any. Number. We have to write here number. Enter any number which you want. Enter any number. Number which you want. Now this run. I'll give one four six. In this, what is the even number? Six and four. Six plus four. Ten. The, our output should become ten. The sum of even digit from the inter integer is ten. Right. We'll check one five six seven, one five six seven. In this, one is one is odd, five is odd, six is even. So and seven is odd. The output should become six. The sum of even digit from the integer is six. Right now we have to do on odd number. How to find odd number in this program only? Just change here. Norm is not equal. Remainder is not equal to. Remainder is not equal to remainder mode two is not equal to zero. Now it will come right here. Just change here in this two in this two place. The sum of odd digit odd digit from the integer is and sum. Now you will calculate here one five six seven. Our output will come thirteen means. One plus five, six. Six plus seven is thirteen. 
right? If you calculate one, three, five, this and six. In this one, three, five is odd number. Five plus one, six, six, three, nine. Our output should keep calm, nine. The sum of odd digit from the integer is nine. You can do here also. If you want, keep, if you want keep not, then not. Don't worry. Just change here. This sum copy this, cut this and paste here. False side. Right. Now also you will run the same output will come. One three five six five plus three one six five one plus one six six plus three nine. The sum of odd digit from the integer is nine. This was our programming, and I'll print here one output and write thanks. Thanks to engineering basic engineering basic. Now I'll check add on here. Any note five six seven. The sum of odd digit from the integer is nineteen. Odd digit here is five seven seven. You will calculate it will be nineteen. And now thanks to engineering basic. If you haven't subscribed to this engineering basic, basic, then please go and subscribe to see my further video. Thank you.